Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about glassing with a tripod and why I do it. Uh, first of all, I'm running a 15 by 56 binoculars. They're the Leupold Sandium HDs, the BX5s. Big, heavy glass, huge lenses. Um, they're really good for looking at a lot of country a long ways away. But if you're going to hold them in your hands, you're going to realize that that 15 power really compounds the shaking and the movement. And so the concept behind a tripod, and this is just a loophole carbon, pretty pretty lightweight, pretty sturdy setup, is to be able to not only hold still on animals, but also grid the mountain up, down, left, and right. Uh, a lot of times in the high country, mule deer, elk, they're really easy to see. But I've learned hunting in the desert and the low, you know, coos deer type country that you there's a lot of deer that you'll miss if you're not solid now one thing I love about having a tripod is it mounts your your glass in a way that you're able to look through and actually see a still frame of a mountain so as I'm moving around I don't hold on to the tripod I'll actually just take my hands off and just look at a still frame and then I'll move over 30 or 40 yards just by adjusting you know just on the head 30 or 40 yards, lock it down, hands off, and grid that again. So however you want to do it, up, down, left, right, you know, up a draw, down a draw, across the ridge, whatever, it doesn't really matter. The key is, is just the tripod helps you track where you're at and helps you break that mountain down into small sections so that you're not overwhelmed with just a big face and a huge canyon. Also, uh, one thing I love is that you're able to locate an animal but also mark it. So, when you find that buck or whatever that you're looking for, your tripod's locked. He's there, you know. How many times have you been looking through your glass and looked up and then looked back and you couldn't remember exactly where you were looking and there's so many, so many variations in the terrain and animals are moving. The, key, the cool thing about a tripod is it, is it holds that spot for you so you're able to lock it down. And then also anyone that's ever hunted with me knows first thing I do is love to share that scene with other people. So I'll run over and say, go check it out, look through my glass. And so since it's already locked on the animal in the position, all you do is just pop down, check it out, and then they can go set their glass up so you get on the same critter. So um, using your hands to use binos is fine when you're on stocks and in close quarters. But if you're going to pack a big 15 power binocular and you want to cover a lot of country, you absolutely have to get a tripod uh, and get any, you know, there's a lot of different variations in heads, but the bottom line is just something that's lightweight, that works for you, that you can use to grid, break down the mountain, save your spots when you find something you're looking for, and then most importantly, just use the glass and get the most out of them by not shaking with your hands. That stabilized image, uh, it'll blow your mind and you'll be a lot more impressed by glass quality when you see it through a tripod compared to when you're just packing it around, or around your neck. So just a tip. Yes, sir. Dead and in the building.